Yo, Gamer Nemi here and oh man, today is a good day. Today is a good day, my boys. We finally have the release date for Tekken 8. This is insane. This is insane. I know we've all seen this, so I'm not going to watch this back. We're just going to do a little breakdown and just talk about all the details we've seen so far regarding Tekken 8. Okay, so let's go. So first, let's talk about the release date, right? First of all, let's get it out of the way. January 26. That's insane. It's insane because a lot of people, I, I know it's not just me, a lot of people expected this game to release at least mid of next year, right? Maybe April, May, March maybe, but January? That's insane. You know what that means? That means we're gonna be seeing Tekken 8 as the 2024 TWT Tour. That's insane, bro. That's insane. Talk about good timing, bro. Like, look, look at it at two ways, right? I'm kind of concerned because I feel as though it's a little bit too early, right? It can be a bad thing. With what, with what they've shown so far, I feel as though they needed maybe more time to cook, right? Give us give us the whole entire cake don't just give us like half of the cake so anyway like i don't know there's just there's just so much going around in my head right now so many thoughts so let's just talk about it so first of all 32 new characters right 32 two new fighters so they revealed they revealed steve uh um dragonov leo yoshimitsu kuma and i think i'm missing one I think I'm missing one. Uh, it has to be six, right? Six characters, which makes that we had 18, which makes that 24, right? So we have eight characters left. And if the leaks are true, I know you guys have seen the leaks. If you haven't, I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to talk about it. But there are leaks, and it seems to be 100% legit. We might be getting um, reviews later this week right leading to maybe tokyo game show so i don't know bro like i'm sorry guys i am not ready for this right i'm just so hype right now there's so much good in my head so let me breathe Husa, Husa, breathe Nemi, breathe okay <clears throat> one step at a time okay so let's watch the trailer right pause it on the exciting part so story mode as you see now, new Tekken 8 saga. So if we talk about this shot right here, so from the description we got from Nina's bio, uh, it did say that she is now working with Kazuya or for Kazuya, like she's an assassin, right, for hire, so it's, it kind of makes sense. So it seems she's still working under Kazuya. So we see her in this awesome, awesome shot with like Jack 8 and Jack 7s at the back. So like Jack 8 is coming out as the kind of the new big boy right upgraded version of jack 7 and we have like the old models at the back so maybe they haven't yet finished producing all the new jack 8 models so maybe like nina is in charge of the program maybe i don't know but this is a cool ass shot and it's cool to see that she's part of the story again right under kazuya so man like oh my god i'm sorry guys i'm just so hyped there's just so much shit going on in my head like sick sick shot uh claudio of course had a huge role to play huge role to play in Tekken 7 you know with the whole exorcism oh my god PTSD with the whole um, what, what's the clan called the clan of exorcist whatever the clan is called so he we try to find out what his motive is going to be for Tekken 8 right as a still is he still bent on exorcising Kazuya and both Jin or maybe exterminating them he had a sinister plan in Tekken 7, which I believe is now canon in Tekken 8, involving Xiao Yu. So, Claudio has a huge part to play in the story, and I'm excited to see what it's about. I really hope it's good. Uh, moving on, a cool shot of Horang and Lars. Now, of course, Horang is Jin's boyfriend. We know this. They be smashing. Ugh. So, it's normal. Like, it makes sense that you have some interaction with Lars, because Lars is working with Jin. You know, the whole posse, Jin, Lars, Lee, Alisa. So now, I guess Horang joins the gang, which is pretty cool to see. 
like I love it when Namco add a lot of characters to the main storyline. This is what Tekken is supposed to be. Like if you look at MK, MK is so in depth when it comes to character storylines. Um, in the main story, like so many characters in that game have a role to play in the main story. So it's good seeing um, Quarang actually have a good role in the storyline. Might not be as huge as we expect it to be, but it's still pretty cool, right? Working with our boy Lazur in the Tekken Force, of course, the leader of the rebellion. Pretty cool. So I guess they will be fighting the Jacks, maybe. Oh, this is a different shot. I'll come with. So I don't know if this is in the same frame as the Claudio, the Claudio part, right? Are they fighting Claudio? Because this shot seems to be different from this one, right? The one with the Jax, I think, is with Xiaoyu. Maybe, right? They fight Claudio two on one. Is Claudio really that cracked? I don't know, but Lars is. Come on, come on. So we have Jack here against Xiaoyu. Maybe Xiaoyu still trying to get laid, right? Going after Jin. Maybe she faces Nina, right? I don't know. I don't know. Assumptions. Oh, Raven. Yes. Yes. Fucking give me. Give it me. Oh my god. Give it to me. Oh, Raven, guys. Like I said, is going to be my main in Tekken 8. I love the way he looks so far. His rework is amazing. I love that he's back in the law. Like in Tekken 5, Raven played a huge part in the law as well. With the whole Hiachi Mishima is dead, very, very iconic line. I'm glad they're bringing it back, bringing the OG back in the mix. I don't know how Master Raven is going to be, but I would love to see the interaction with Dragonov, right? I only hope they keep that part of his law as well, kind of the rival with Dragonov, but also keep the focus back on, you know, his, his investigations with the Mishima, right? The Mishima's a battle with Heihachi. I love to see that. Like, I want to see what my boy is bringing to the table in terms of the story mode. I want to see Raven and I want to play Raven. Okay, let's go. Hype. I'm so hype. I'm sorry, guys. Drag is back. Oh my god, it looks so sick. The coat. I swear to god, like, Drag has the sickest drip. I don't think Drag has a bad fit. Like, ever since his introduction in Tekken 5 DR, he's never really had a bad default outfit. I don't really like the general outfit, but it's really, really good still. His coat in Tekken 7 was sick. His freaking combat outfit in Tekken 5 DR in Tekken 6 was sick as well. And his back, and it looks, it looks sick. It looks sick. So this seems to be his rage art, right? Something to do with ice. Like, does he hit you with an ice bomb, maybe? Like, what is this? I don't know. Shaheen? Shaheen? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I did not expect Shaheen to make the list. But a part of me did because he represents a huge part of like, you know, um, the culture in terms of, uh, I don't know, how do I say this? Like representing other parts of the, of the world, right? So the Middle Eastern side pretty much. So Shaheen has a huge, huge, huge following. So I'm not really that surprised, but I didn't really expect him to make it back. But anyway, he looks good. Like Shaheen looks good. It's actually, Shaheen is actually really fun to play. If you haven't played Shaheen, just try him. He looks boring. He's boring to watch, but actually really fun to play. Slide spam is hella fun. So, not I'm really disappointed, but you know, hope his rework is really, really good, right? There are some big changes to characters in Tekken 8. So, I really hope they've done something really, really good with Shaheen. Our boy. <laughs> Our boy is back and he looks good, Stevu. Stevu. Bro, his feet as well looks sick. Oh my god, everything. Think it is 1080p. This looks so janky, bro. His fit looks good as well. Like Steve Azo has some good customization outfits, so I'm not surprised. Our boy looks clean. I will try Steve, but like I said, I'll, I wanna try and minimize the characters I use in Tekken. So I don't think I'm going to main Steve. Okay, but I, I love him so much, bro. If it's three characters I'm going to play, it's probably Lars, Steve, and Raven. With Raven being my main, but Steve is definitely one of my favorite characters of all time. Leo as well is another one I did not expect. I really, I honestly thought Leo would miss the cut, honestly, on God. So I'm surprised he's made it, or she's made it, or they have made it. But honestly, I do love Leo, right? She's pretty, pretty unique. They are pretty, pretty unique, you know. Not really a huge 
they don't really have a huge following in terms of fan base you said you said rate is not really that high as well so honestly i maybe expected him to be like dlc or something like that but you know i love leo it's a good addition so it's pretty cool oh my god so many effects can't tell what she's doing yoshi yoshi is back okay so with yoshi guys i'm not gonna lie I'm kind of disappointed because I did expect them to review Yoshimitsu in this way, right? I think Yoshimitsu deserved a trailer on his own, right? A review trailer at a huge event because I think Yoshi is like one of the most iconic Tekken characters in the game. So I was expecting like a huge, huge Yoshi review. But we got this instead which is still good and his design to me looks weird, right? I'm not a huge fan of his design. Um, still better than his Tekken 7 design, honestly speaking. But this is just my opinion, guys. I know a lot of people like the design from what I've seen so far. But for me, I'm not really a huge fan. I really, really hope they went a more like a samurai heavy route, right? Samurai armor, something like that. But like, still looks good. Still better than Tekken 7 Squid, Squid Mitsu. So, you know, it's good. A single player battle mode. All right, so this looks more like the whole battle hub thing like street fighter so i think they're kind of they're kind of going the same route which i hear is really really good i haven't played street fighter 6 but i do hear good things about it in terms of like net code and the lobby system so if namco is going the same route then kudos bro like it's about time it's 2023 and something i do always say is that narada has a really good relationship with like the street fighter people or his street fighter boys so i'm not surprised that they kind of went the same route right namco and capcom so it's pretty good i just hope they have different servers and the net is really really good so you know i really really hope so single player mode this seems to be some kind of uh tournament maybe tournament mode I think or maybe it's like a customization mode or something I don't know some kind of game mode it did say a new single player game mode so we'll see <laughs> is that Harada and Michael Murray <laughs> it is right yeah it's Harada and Michael Murray it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I love the idea of the battle hub right show off your style customization oh my god Check out the, the J's. The J's. Kazooie Sheesh. It's actually a pretty cool Easter egg because Kazooie is actually a sneakerhead, right? Um, if you check out his details on Wiki, you can find that he's a fan of sneakers. So this is pretty, pretty sick, bro. Shout out to Namco. Let's fucking go, bro. Dude. So I did make a video talking about how taking. 8 customization needs to live up to the hype of how good Tekken 6 customization was. Like if you haven't played Tekken 6 guys just visit it back and just check out the customization like it was insane you would customize like sneakers right there are so many glasses like there was just so much there was just so much in terms of customization so I'm hoping Tekken 8 really really lives up to that expectation because I remember as well I did say I was worried that they released it was too early, so maybe they didn't go as deep as it seems they did, but I'm gonna keep a positive mind. Alright, wait, is that schoolgirl Kazuya? What the what the hell? Oh schoolboy, okay. <laughs> with the with the eye patch. Okay, nice. Do the drip, the leather jacket. Sheesh, let's go. Steve Boo! Like, oh my god, the Lucha Libre King outfit. That's sick, bro. Yo, Namco hella snapped on the customization. Look at this. It looks so clean. Oh my god. Sheesh. Let's go. Nina Cut is Kawaii. Horang, of course, with the eye patch. And the, of course, they had to give him the freaking crop top jacket. They had to because it's Horang, right? It's Horang. He looks pretty cool, though. I like it better than his, his Tekken 7 fit. Uh, in terms of the top, you know. Leroy classic 80s, maybe classic 90s. <laughs> Swaggeroo. Of course, it's Leroy, bro. He's gonna go for the 90s drip. Shaheen, of course, uh, classic, you know, uh, sour Middle Eastern design. 
uh, customization looks like. Oh, Kazuya with the pants? I didn't notice that the first time. Kazuya with the classic pants. Yo, let's go. That looks like his rage as well. Skateboard, surfboard. Ooh, the Albert worst car. Oh my god, this fit is so cold. Ooh, the Albert worst car. Let's go, Brian. New stage as well, guys. New stage. New stage. New stage. Neon red. Kind of looks like the Tekken 6 High Rollers Club, right? Kind of looks the same, right? Jack. Pretty mid outfit, if you ask me. Uh, Lily and Asuka outfit swap. Pretty cute. Of course, a sibling rivalry. Classic Po, of course, for everyone, including me, <laughs> that has complained about that shit hair he has. His default is so, oh my god, that hair is awful. So they're giving us, just letting us know that we can use his default fit, classic fit, which is pretty cool. Low still has his trash jacket. Oh my, this jacket is pretty garbage, bro. The freaking Gosain jacket. Ugh. Ooh, my boy with the classic Tekken 5 Hayabusa outfit. Let's fucking go. Sheesh, I was hyped when I saw this, guys. I lost my mind. Because the first time I saw Raven, the first thing I, I said was, I really hope he has his default fit from Tekken 5. This outfit is so good, bro. Like, it's so freaking good. I'm hyped, bro. I really hope there's another Tekken beta, man. I can't wait to use Raven, bro. Oh my god, Raven, he looks, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Lars, but, you know, <laughs> drag, of course, oh, what do I keep saying about drag, guys, his drip is always so good, some spec ops kind of shit, look at this, as you see now, cute fit, Leo with a nice outfit as well, pretty cool, Kuma review, bro, this is the classic outfit, the only the OGs remember, only the OGs remember this is the outfit Kuma had in his Tekken 6 prologue, right? It's the same fit he had in his Tekken 6 prologue. Dude, Namco is cracked, bro. They are so cracked. Comes to customization? Oh my god. So, Kuma review the fish turns into a freaking rocket. <laughs> so sick. So sick. Get ready for the next battle. So, my friend was telling me that this means, you know, the custom lobbies, of course. So let's see how many avatars are there. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe like five players per lobby max, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but like this assumes maybe that you can have like multiple lobbies at the same time. Maybe I'm hoping it's like copy them, but you know. Get ready for the next battle. Special intro. So we have Steven Huarang. A running two with you know uh Horror with a just frame, pretty sick. The Steve outfit is good. Like, it's really, really good. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so good. It's so good. Yoshi Brian special intro. Nice. Yoshi with the quarter circle forward one. Sword spin. And Brian, of course, with a huge ass machine gun, Gatling gun. Pretty sick. Azucina and Leo. Why? Why does Leo have something with Azushina, bro? Leo should have something with Steve and the classic Jean and Kazuya, of course. Ah, dudes. Oh my god, guys. I'm just so hype. I'm so hype. January 26. I did not expect this. I did. So, take care, guys. Love you. GG. And may the frame data be ever in your favor. Do yeah.